Well, hello there. I'm Mama Jane's husband, and this is... Mama Jane. And uh, we've recently been on the NCL Dawn, and uh, we're going to tell you about the 10 things, that's 10 things that surprised us about being on the NCL Dawn. So that if that interests you, then watch on. So, Mama Jane... Ten things that surprised about the NCL Dawn. Um, we were cruising around South Africa, by the way. We cruised out of, of Cape, Cape Town. Town and back to Cape Town. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, so what was the first thing that shocked us, actually? It wasn't just surprise. <laughs> shocked us about NCL Dawn. Well, if, if before I even say that, I can say that we booked to go with NCL because we had a, an amazing trip with them cruise with them last year on a different ship on the jade yeah and it was lovely it was. so lovely that we booked you know yeah um and, and these also must point out these are only our opinions they are yeah and yeah. Uh, you may totally disagree anyway what was the question oh yeah, oh, yeah. so what was the first thing <laughs> first that surprised thing. us about well, ncl dawn cruise ships are never known for giving out a lot of information without a bit of um, prodding. Prodding. But these really didn't give out any information. No. The management was so poor. Yeah. Um, it was crazy. Um, for example, one of the shows, well, one of the ports had to be cancelled. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair Happens. Fair enough. Happens. Happens. But no issue with that. No issue with that. So the people who were going on um, trips at that port, we're not told not to go. They haven't been told the cruise that the port had been cancelled. So they got up and they went to the allotted meeting point. Yeah. And were met by staff. And uh, we looked at the map. You know, you can see a map where the ship's going. And we thought, yeah. hang on a minute. The ship's not even going. We're past the port. We're past the port. We're not stopping at that port. So we asked a staff member who said, oh, the captain needs to say, hmm. well, well, why didn't he then? Yeah. <laughs> why didn't he mention it? And, you know, some other friends of ours and relatives of ours went to the reception and said, what's happening with the, today's port stop? And they said, well, we can't say, but don't, don't, don't go for the, don't book in for your trip. Uh, and you think, what, what is, what's that about? So I don't know. And generally the management was not very good. No. No. Another example was embarkation. Now, um, Cunard had put a spanner in the works uh, for the embarkation day by uh, arriving slightly unexpectedly in Cape Town because of the problems in the in the Middle East with uh, the Suez Canal. So they'd ended up in Cape Town. And because uh, they got there first, they'd got the primary berth where the cruise terminal is. So when NCL Dawn rocks up, uh, it's further off down the <laughs> down the cruise port, quite away from the cruise terminal. Now, this should not be a problem. Any decent management and leadership should be able to organise this Science. sensibly. Signs. Now, so when you arrive at the cruise port, you're dropped off and you follow the yellow brick road at uh, at Cape Town which takes you into the cruise terminal, which, of course, is occupied by Cunard. Um, there are no signs directing you where to go for uh, NCL. There are no personnel from NCL directing you uh, not to go down the yellow brick road, but to go a different <laughs> way. This is not rocket science. It's not difficult, is It's it? not difficult. Yeah. So eventually we find that NCL, um, you drop your luggage off, um, in a car park, uh, at the bottom floor of a multi-storey car park. Um, and you leave your luggage there and you go to, uh, you, you then shuttle bust across to the, the ship. Now. Again, again. Okay. Okay. Fine. So we dropped the luggage off. No problem at all. Went across and it was just, we got told so many different things then what we should be doing. There was no one answer. And when we got on the bus to shuttle us across, we were stuck on this bus for half an hour 
with air conditioning on, off, on, off, on, off. We were stifling hot. It's very hot. And nobody telling us anything. Mm. Absolutely nobody telling us. And I had to get really stroppy, unfortunately, with some of the staff to get any mm. sense or sensibility out of anyone. Eventually, we were told that we were not going to the ship because the ship were not ready. How can the ship not be ready? The ship had been in port for two days. Two days. Not two hours. No. We didn't make a mistake yeah. now. It's two no. days. Two days. Two days. How can the ship not be ready for us? Yeah. It's, it's basic management mm. and organisation mm. was just awful. We, this was our 17th cruise, and it by far the worst yeah. piece of management and organisation we've come across. The senior management on this ship were poor. The worst we've seen. And if you look at our review of the the other NCL ship, the Jade, the first thing that we say is how it organised it, yeah. wasn't it? It was yeah. slick. It was yeah. excellent. Yeah. And all of these things, you know, things crop up, unexpected things, especially with cruisers. Yeah. You never know. But it's how you deal with them that's yeah. the thing. Not uh, you and know, it, it was. They could not deal with simple yeah, issues yeah. that were outside the script. Yeah, uh, you know, there were, why were why were passport checks uh, so disorganized? Why were they so slow? Why were they not allowing enough time for yeah. passport checks at ports? Because when you're doing different countries, each country may want different things. Yeah, and so this one particularly, we had to go and show our passports on the ship. In fact, before you could get and off sometimes the, off the ship, and sometimes off the yeah. ship, and sometimes as you're getting back on the ship, so it's all different, and that's fine, absolutely fine. But it's a fact of cruising. We know this. We know it. You know, we're we're, we're hardened cruisers. <laughs> um, I, said, I think we're beginners <laughs> at the side of a lot of people, but uh, you know, come on, this is not rocket science. It is not difficult. It is management, and that's what people are so, trained to do. First thing, a bit of a rant going surprise. on here, don't you think? Bit, but, of rant. bit of a rant. Bit of a rant. First surprise is how poor the management and yeah. leadership was on NCL. Lovely staff. No. Please, I am not criticising the staff. Apart from one. Apart there was one. One person. Yeah, one person. Who... We don't mention names. Anyway. And, uh, but other than that, all the staff were lovely. They just were not being led by yeah, management. Poor, poor leadership. Yes, yes. Yeah. So the second thing that surprised <laughs> us <laughs> oh, this is so negative. Um, was uh, the ship design. Now, when you get on a ship, you usually see the wow factor, don't you? Yeah. Oh, brilliant. No wow factor no. on this ship. <laughs> no, it was, it was, it, it was, there was no wow factor. And I have to say, I don't think it's a well designed ship. Sorry, no. I think this ship is designed for uh, party cruising. Yeah. In the Caribbean yes. and the Mediterranean, yes, not cruising around South Africa, where some of the ports are a bit awkward, where the weather can be can shift and uh, be difficult. Mm. The seas aren't great. You know, it's it's well known how rough the Cape can be. It's the wrong ship to be sailing mm. in, in cruises off the Cape of South Africa. Um, so, you know, but there were some. Things missing that we really treasure on cruise ships. Like there's no aft area on this ship at the back of the area where you can sit and um, have dreamy sail away, <laughs> or no bar on the aft area. Like it's 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 not good. There's no bar at the front of the ship. You know, like you have a crow's nest or something like that where you can see where the the uh, the ship is going. And you can be sipping your cocktail and listen to somebody playing the piano. And uh, it's that's lovely. What, that's it, what cruising it, is about. It is what it's about. Mm. Yeah, it is. Uh, so for uh, for us, for us, yeah. And yeah. if you want party ships, fabulous. You yeah. want lots of children's activities. Yeah. Don't even ask about the children's area. <gasps> the children's area is at the back of the ship, and well, it's shocking. Yeah. It's so run down, weren't it? Mm. I wouldn't let my dog play in yeah. that area. If I had a dog, I don't have a dog. Um, I wouldn't let my dog play no. in that area. It was really shocking. We child. never saw any children. No, we never saw no. any children. Not in that. that area, no. I'd have been, I'd have been furious if I'd yeah. brought children on the ship and yeah. seen that play area at the back. Yeah. Awful. Yeah. Really, really uh, I'm only talking down. a little play area. It's not a big razzmatazzi. It's a big splash area. It, not big in compared not, to... Not today. No. You know, 20 but, years ago, it would have been well, revolutionary. It would have been revolutionary, yeah. But, but it today, was shabby, shabby. Yeah. And, and everything was squashed in the middle. So I think, you know, in terms of 
the ship design. They got everything down the middle, uh, which was probably efficient for them, but everything was cramped together. Mm. Um, there's no real atrium to speak of, I thought. Mm. Mm. It, it was all a bit, yeah. And um, the other thing that really I didn't like is that the smoking uh, from the uh, gambling place, the casino, yeah. would infiltrate the theatre yeah. and the Gatsby's bar. And um, uh, for somebody who, who really doesn't like smoking at all, and the smoke really gets to his chest very, very quickly, this is not good. This and is not good in the theatre, we mentioned it to the staff, is it always like this? And they, they actually said yes, and uh, one in particular said he found it a real problem. Yeah, to, that yeah. his clothes always stank yeah, after yeah. being in the theatre. Yeah. So, so it's not a small issue. It, it's not just us being moaning. Yeah. It really is an issue. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So we did not like the ship design at all, really. So that was something that um, was a surprise. No wow factor. <laughs> um, and, and then we come into Mama Jane's most favourite rant about the whole ship, the cabin. Oh. All yours, Mama Jane. <laughs> For those who know me, no, I say, oh, it's all right, don't worry, it's, it's good enough, it's nice enough, it'll do. And, and I am not, I'm the least picky, I think, you I are, say, you are. person. Yeah, yeah. You wouldn't put up with me anyway. <laughs> so I arrived, we always have the cheapest, always the cheapest yeah. underground cabin, whatever yeah. it's called. Yeah. And um, I arrived in this cabin and I looked and I thought, this is a bit weird, because the, the bed... It was made up as a, as a double bed. Sometimes we have it as two singles to give a bigger space. But anyway, no, it was a double bed. Um, and the bedside, bed head lights were literally on your head. So you couldn't sit up. No, I mean, sitting up in bed really hard. Yeah, so that was that. I thought, oh, you know, fair enough. Then I opened, because I always do the unpacking while you disappear, don't yeah. I? Yeah. So I go exploring. He goes exploring. So the first thing I noticed was there was a table now, and I didn't take a photograph of this table. And it was on the corner, so you couldn't go around the bed at one side because there was this obviously very heavy, ship furniture has to be very heavy, table at the corner. And it was a huge table, not just a little bit of a coffee table thing. So, and in, in fairness, I did speak to the steward and immediately, he removed it. There was no question. It went, you know. So that was that was good. But I did wonder why on earth would you block half the room with this enormous table? table. But then, okay, move on. So then I opened the wardrobe door. Well, I, I'm not really quite sure who designed this. I hope it was a small child in a nursery with a packet of crayons because you open the door and. The shelves, you have got a photograph of this, I have, I think, yeah. yeah. The shelves weren't facing you in the wardrobe, they were sideways. So, in order to hang any clothes, you'll understand what I mean when you see the picture. You couldn't hang them in half the wardrobe because you couldn't get the shelves if you did. And if you did, you had to move. Oh, you had the to slide hands, them, slide, slide them out of the way. And I thought to, to get it, to the shelves. And I thought, well, is it me? Am I not Barking. doing am I not doing something? But no, it wasn't me at that point. Yeah. Um now. But then, let's because this is really getting to be a negative video. This is. I don't, I don't like it. I don't do negative now. But then I'm going to raise it up now. The shower, the bathroom, the shower was amazing. Yeah, really good shower. It was a good shower. It was a glass screen. It was big as well. It was big. There was a glass screen, not the flappy curtainy things. It was absolutely lovely, wasn't it? Absolutely, yeah. So I'm going to end that yeah. cabin talk. Well, the, well, the, and it was a nice big uh, shower. Yeah, as I just said, it was and a long... bathroom. The only thing about the bathroom is, for oh, some yes. reason, the airflow was rubbish. We yeah. couldn't dry clothes. You know, normally what we do is I'm going to discuss our uh, yeah, go yeah, on. yeah. Uh, if you must, we, we wash our pants through and our knickers. smalls or larges, depending on who it is. Um, we wash them through. And hang them. There's a little pull-out raily thing, mm. specifically for hanging things on. And we um, and, and uh, they dry. And they dry. No, yeah, they didn't. In fact, no. they were almost wetter. Yeah. That, I don't know. So whether the, uh, I've no idea. I've no yeah. idea. We, we couldn't dry anything. So even swimming trunks. Mm -mm. Yeah. No. So um, 
Yeah. So that was. Oh, come on, let's find something positive. Three. Now, number four, oh, entertainment. Yes. Now, um, most of the entertainment was uh, pretty good. Uh, we uh, the 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 um, with with a singer, didn't we? Yeah, he was we're excellent. Singers, um, uh, magician, magicians. Uh, um, we had comedians. Uh, comedian comedian was fantastic, oh, wasn't he? Funny. Absolutely and fantastic. Bear in mind, it's not easy to be funny when you're on a ship with. We were like the minority, really, the British, British weren't yeah. we? A lot of Germans, lots of Germans, lot of Americans, Americans. So it's very lot difficult. Of, uh, people from Australia. Yeah. Very difficult to yeah. make humour sort of national, international. Yeah. But he did, didn't he? Did he? It was fantastic. very, very good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I, the, those what we call fly on. So the the, the 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 entertainment that they bring on to the ship for the crews, um, the the fly ons were all very very good, yeah. and the actual um, uh, theatre production people, you know, the, those who live on the ship and they do six or nine months contract and they're part of the they True. do the in house shows. The in house shows were good, weren't they? They were good. Yeah. They weren't the big like some American ships. Um, have got huge West Hollywood End productions. productions. West yes. End. West End. Uh, no, it's not like that. And most cruise ships aren't like that. No. Um, the, the older ones, smaller yeah. ones. So, uh, but it was good. They were, yeah, they, they were they, very they were good. good. Yeah. 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 But on two nights of the cruise, the entertainment, the main theatre had a film show in. That was what Just they had. A... For the, that's, yeah. that's not good. No. So that was a real surprise that NCL thought it was good enough on two nights of the cruise to put just a film on in the main theatre. Mm. Not good enough, NCR. Yeah. No, they, show. they did miss a chance, didn't they, with the foot... Do I mean football? American football. Yeah. So while we were on this cruise, the uh, Super Bowl was uh, being played. Now, for somebody, even though I'm British, really quite likes American football. And for a ship with lots of Americans on. And for an American ship not to show <laughs> the Super Bowl... Um, the following morning, because it's on in the middle of the night um, in South Africa, following morning, they could have filled the theatre yeah, they, they uh, with people wanting to see the uh, Super Bowl. They'd have sold a lot of booze, even though it was in the morning, because <laughs> I'd, I'd have had a beer, because why not? I'm on a cruise and I'm watching the Super Bowl. And what an opportunity yeah. that it missed. Yeah. Come on. Like, there were lots of comments, weren't there? People were saying, well, where can we watch the Super Bowl? And they were saying, couldn't. we can't. <laughs> you know, where was the cruise director? Yeah. You know, get yeah. a grip. Yeah. So that You're getting was, negative again now. Well, yeah. you know, we're trying to be honest here about it. Um, and, and again, the music, the only thing I would say about some of the sort of filling acts, as I call them, that are around the ship playing music, a lot of the music was a bit backgroundy. Bit elevatorly, a bit elevator music really being played live. Mm. Um, so I, was, I would say there were a couple of exceptions to that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, mainly around the pool area yeah. where I thought, no, very good. We'll, we'll come to the pool area separately. Mm. Um, so, yeah, you're not doing very well, are you, NCL, at the moment? Um, and then food. Now then, now then, let's see. Because on it, NCL Jade, we thought the food and the buffet were. Mm, it was now, excellent. It, just in the buffet, it yeah. was Now, what excellent. about NCL Dawn? The buffet was all right. Yeah. It was all right. And, you Very know... Very average buffet. It was average. There was nothing wrong with it. There was lots of choice. It was um, it was fine. Absolutely yeah. fine. Um, but the... Uh, yeah. the In the main dining can, room... Can I say something buffet. more about the buffet? The only thing I would say about the buffet uh, uh, is... They described something as a sausage. Oh, yeah. Now I'll drop a photo <laughs> in of this. Um, I, how you could possibly describe this as a sausage? And this was your main breakfast sausage. N not good enough, NCL. Now the other thing that Mama Jane and me have a bit of a disagreement about is the butter. Now the butter, Mama Jane thought it was lovely. I thought it was awful. And and the thing is, I, 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 it was unsalted, fine, okay, but I just did not like the butter. Yeah. 
And we started off the cruise with a really nice butter, but after a couple of days, they obviously ran out of whatever they are. No, they just changed supplier. And it was unsalted. Um, well, that's the only thing, I, and, and I like unsalted butter, so I was pleased he wasn't. I thought it was like lard. <laughs> Can't, can't pretend anything. No, so there's yeah. that. And the other that, thing... That's personal preference, it isn't it? That is not yeah. that it was good no. or bad butter. But you can't disagree with me when I said the beans were always cold <laughs> and yeah. the potatoes uh, yes. in breakfast were often undercooked. Now, that's surprising because usually I would imagine they use the leftover potatoes from the night before. Yeah. Uh, quite right. And chop them up and do them for right. breakfast. So I don't really know why they weren't cooked, unless they don't do it like that. Perhaps I they do know. it from fresh, but not... Anyway, you know, so I... main dining room. Yeah. Uh, main dining... Let me come to main dining room. So that buffet. was the buffet. Buffet. Yeah. buffet. yeah. We'll come to the main dining room. So, Mama Jane. Well, again, um, vegetables. Some people like them well done. Some people like... Me. I like my vegetables Some well people done. like them al dente. Yeah. Me. I don't mind. I, I, no, yeah. that's not the truth. I just don't care. I don't mind. Somebody else has cooked them. Uh, but these were... Raw. They were raw. Yeah. They were really... I hadn't seen water. They had been in water because they were hot. But they were... <laughs> <laughs> they were... And so when, when uh, Mama Jane's husband discussed with the waitress, very kindly, very pleasantly, yes. and said, you know, the, she said, oh, well, I will put it on the... No, she fetched the head of the, what, yeah. what's he called, maitre d'. Yeah. And uh, he came and he said, oh, they would make a note of it, put it on the computer so that when you book your table, you can see that you want well done veg. Um, but... That didn't really improve things. It didn't. No. Well, we didn't we take a chance. From, we went from raw to al dente. Yeah, we didn't take a chance yeah. because what we had instead was a side order of fries yeah. and luckily chips and luckily... And mainly, they, they were, were nice. all right. <laughs> they were nice. I have to say... The 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 food that we had, we did not have a bad meal oh, in no, the MDR. Oh no, not at we all. We did not have a bad meal. And the staff were good. The only thing was is that vegetables were in short supply. Like I'll, I'll drop in a photo when we with extra vegetables on, and you'll see there's hardly any veg. Now, whether they had a supply problem with vegetables, I don't know, but they seem to be seem to me to be rationing the vegetables. Yeah, they did, yeah. So the the main themselves. The main courses and everything that oh, was nice. all fine. Very nice. But uh, we, after a couple of days, we clued in and we'd order extra chips as a side. Yeah. Um, that worked well. Just didn't for it? the carbohydrate, really, yeah. and that yeah. worked well. Yeah. But we shouldn't have had to do that. No, no. You know, we shouldn't have to have. We shouldn't have to be coming up with workarounds. No. Um, Getting negative again. Come on. Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> then, um, so that's that's a surprise. Food yeah. was average. Um, Whereas on the other ship that we'd been on, it was Jane, very good. Yeah. Now we we'll come to speciality restaurants. So now we have we had on NCLG one of our outstanding meals on sea at uh, cruising at Cagney's. So we were so expectant when we went to Cagney's again for a meal, and I have to say the food was absolutely outstanding again. Yeah. yeah. Um, it was it was great. Um, and this time, my brother and his wife were uh, with us as well. And my brother had this massive uh, <laughs> steak, and uh, it was all cooked very, very nicely. Again, I thought it was a bit light on the the vegetables when you've got the side servings and everything. Bit small, but the, but the the thing that really <laughs> surprised us um, was the the it service. Was, it was weird. The service was just. Um, not a non-event. Whereas it was just, it it, it and, was. And what what really? Um, and I don't understand because they weren't particularly busy. They no. were they were, you know, no. busy-ish, but not like rammed and no. rushing. But then, what really made me think this is weird. We were eating desserts, pudding, depending where you live, and suddenly. The bill, now, okay, there wasn't a bill because it was one of these where um, it was included as in, a, the free at sea. in the free at sea. But you still had to see the bill and sign yeah. that that is indeed what you had. So I am halfway through eating my dessert. They don't know if I want coffee. They don't know if I want more dessert. But the bill arrived. And, as if they were trying to get us through the door. And I thought, well, that's odd. Uh, and I thought, I don't know. I don't know why. And I didn't ask no. because I thought, oh. Yeah, I don't, 
<laughs> so we were coming to the end of our meal and we thought, oh, let's, let's, get, let's, out let's get out of here. Um, so that was, uh, and I will say, you know, I, I will emphasize, I said this in the last video about NCL Jade, the, the, the food's special, uh, but so are the prices. Mm. So if we were paying, the, the four, it came to $100 each. So that was $400 for the table if we'd been paying full mm. price. That is very, very and expensive. And we did not go for thinking, oh, well, we can have all, oh, this no. is all included. No. no, we didn't because, for one thing, I can't eat that much meat. So Same I, here. The very smallest steak there was. Yeah. Uh, uh, Mama Jane's husband's brother, yeah. he did have a large yeah. steak. He's a carnival. He's a carnival. <laughs> Uh, his wife, she didn't either. She she yeah. was like us. Um, so it wasn't that you think, yeah, well, if you go for the most expensive thing, of course it'll yeah. come to that. Awesome. No, we didn't. We um, we had what we wanted, not because we could. We had it because we wanted, didn't we? Yeah. So, and then the other um, uh, uh, speciality we went to was Los Lobos. Now, a bit of a Mexican uh, thing going on here. And uh, again, food, absolutely Fantastic. Mm. Love the food. Absolutely uh, love the food. But again, the service was It was bizarre. They, they like wouldn't clear one course away. They didn't know what left hand didn't know what um, right hand would But they'd do already it. got the other stuff on the, you know, the big stands yeah. they put it on. And and I think, why, why are you doing it like this? Because, you know, the food's going to be cold yeah. and uh, it was just odd. Very odd. Very strange yeah. how it, it was. So again, that the food we loved it and the staff were lovely they, they were, were lovely just... they were just all over the <laughs> place all over the yes. place now they? i know that in england we like the separate courses don't we and we like to all finish before they start clearing the yeah. table and i know that is not the same throughout yeah. the world so i'm i'm even allowing for differences yeah. in how things are cultural done cultural differences cultural that's yeah. the way i'm going cultural differences you know uh, but some are just not different they're just silly you know bringing a bill before you're finished yeah. bringing food before you've cleared the table mm. it's not it's just not good wherever you come from now one of the best kept secrets uh, on the dawn was uh, the restaurant called bamboo mm. because bamboo is not a speciality restaurant uh, it's included in your fare um but it operates like a uh, specialty restaurant yeah and we went in there a couple of nights, and it's first come, first serve. You can't book. First come, first serve. Mm. So you need to get there early if you want to eat early. And the food's fab. fab Absolutely yeah. fab. Mm. I'm not a fan of Chinese food. Um, but it was. But you might be now because you've had some nice Chinese food. It, it, it might have converted me <laughs> um, to it. it the, the food. But again, the service was. It was a bit weird. Was bang ordinary and odd so i don't know quite know what's going on whether whether they're trying to be quirky i don't know <laughs> quirky, but it um, was quirky yeah, yeah i don't know so uh so that was the other surprise now then the next surprise and again it's not a positive one really i'm sorry about all this but uh you know we try to be honest and yeah. and um they ran they almost ran out of beer now how can this how can this happen um, I've been on cruises before where they've run out of draft beer, uh, but they, at one point, the only beer they had was Bud Light. I actually take that as an insult um, because, you know, what was going on? Mm. Now, we did hear a rumour that they were having problems with South Africa customs um, with their deliveries because apparently it's all shipped from Miami. Um, and... I don't quite know what was going on. But in the end, we had some very nice uh, South African beer appear on board. Um, so that saved the day, really, and uh, it was lovely. But also, one night, you couldn't, buy, you couldn't have any Shiraz on board. They'd run out of Shiraz on the ship. Now, bear in mind, we're off the coast of South Africa. How can you possibly run out of Shiraz? Um, and the other thing that I, I, I was so disappointed was one of the best wine producing countries in the world, South Africa, no South African wine on board. You know, what, what was that about? So we were really surprised how um, we experienced the shortage on, on the beer, the wine, and we thought there was a vegetable shortage. 
and you could hear other people saying that they hadn't been able to get this, they hadn't been able to get that. Yeah. So there were a lot of shortage type things. And across, I think, you know, a, the board. a while since it was, oh, well, it's COVID, you know, and uh, things have not got back to normal. Well, come on, get a grip because... Yeah. And, and I don't want this to sound like I'm an entitled person. Yeah. But the fact is, I have paid money for choice. Yeah. And when I say choice, I mean more than one thing, because that's what choice usually means. And so I don't want us to appear picky and, you know, above our stations. I know. But well, it's, it's the thing that... Course, and, and it's yeah. no good asking staff why, because they won't tell you, no. or they all tell you a different story, because they have to work to a script yeah. and they're afraid of um you know repercussions against repercussions themselves. yes contract uh, not being renewed yeah yeah like so uh, they're all just too lovely so so the next uh we, we're the, the next thing let's have a positive thing let's have a positive <laughs> what is that thing? so sellers <laughs> oh now we there, the, there was no sellers bar on ncl jade but dawn had something called the sellers bar which was fabaruni and it was a wine bar, obviously, sellers, wine bar. And, excuse me, the staff in there were, excuse me, were amazing. But they also had a digital menu. So you could peruse the digital yeah. menu. And there was notes about all the different wines. So you could uh, read in depth, more than you would with a paper menu or anything. You could explore. Uh, you could decide what you wanted, how much you wanted to pay, what was included in the drinks package, what was not, how much extra you had to pay. Really, really great good. innovation. Best wine bar we've seen at sea. Um, so something positive there to take away for everyone. Um, and But now we're going to talk about a coffee shop on Deck 7. And this was supposedly a Starbucks. Well, I think Starbucks um, ought to have a look at this because I don't know what resemblance it had to Starbucks cof coffee shop because I don't think it was serving Starbucks. We did find this on NCLJ, didn't we? Yeah, the, yeah. The co I actually preferred the coffee in the main dining room, yes. and that is a rare, rare yeah. thing. Yeah. You know, a cup of, now, being an American ship, no kettle in, in the cabin. So quite a few mornings, I went down uh, and got coffee from the Starbucks because that's because I'm a nice husband. And uh, uh, and, and after the two, doing it twice, we decided, actually, you'd be better off going up to the buffet. Well, it's so included I did. in the well, price. You're not even paying extra. So in the morning, I used to uh, nip up to the buffet and get coffee. And we really didn't notice a difference. In fact, I think it might have even been better. better. So it, it, it's, a, it's not a Starbucks as you'd find on land. Absolutely. No. So again... Poor. Um, now, our last thing that surprised us, and uh, to end on a high note, I think, really, the pool area. Now, there's one single pool area, main pool area, which means it's a bit bigger than you'd see on most cruise ships. You because, can properly swim in it, yeah, can't you? So I'd rather I'm in two small pools, there's one big pool, so you can actually have a decent swim in it. And it's surrounded by four hot tubs. And uh, they're all working, so that's always that's good. a good thing. And um, the, 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 there's a band stage, and they often have music uh, in the pool area. Mm -hmm. And the, 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 the quality is very, very good. Um, there's a mix of music. I, I particularly remember one rock set that was played was absolutely fabulous. So big thumbs up to them. Um, they look like rock, rock and roll players <laughs> as well. Um, and uh, then you've got the, the 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 upper parts of the pool area, and you've got this. What I I I <laughs> oh, this is weird. This is the roasting rack, as I called it. It's. Have you taken a picture of it? I've got a picture of it. It's, yeah. It's bizarre. again bizarre. Uh, yeah. Well, I don't know. It's the one way to get lots and lots and lots and lots of seats in yeah. a small area because it's this tiered roasting um, rack. Ro roasting rack. Yeah. yeah. Um, and that is one thing that was lacking on the ship, not roasting racks, seating in any area. It was yeah. very, not just around the pool, because it's always uh, difficult, but even the loungers and things like that inside, it was very difficult yeah. to find a seat. Yeah. And yeah. I don't know, I don't know why. Whether... Yeah. So, um, and uh, it was, 
very exposed to wind as well. Mm. It wasn't well sheltered from wind. So when on days that was very windy, it was difficult to find a bit of shelter from, from the wind. Yeah. Um, uh, having said that, the, the, the place was very well maintained. Mm. Um, the, the bar staff, um, they could have done with an extra one or two bar staff because when you were on the upper decks, um, it, it was a, quite a long time between seeing bar staff some days. And you had to go to the bar because you'd, you'd die of thirst otherwise. <laughs> um, and uh, the other thing is the top cider's grill wasn't always open. No, no. So that was a nuisance. So you'd have to get dressed to get something to eat. Um, why they couldn't have opened the top cider's grill, I don't know. Because they did one day and just put sandwiches yeah, on. And they on were there. fantastic. And they were lovely. Yeah, yeah lovely. they were. Um, and, um, and also, uh, right at the top of the pool area, there's another bar, Bimini's bar, which is a lovely bar, but they've spoilt it by making it a smoking mm, area. Mm. So it's unusable as far as I'm concerned because of the smoke. So um, as you might have gathered, I'm very sensitive to <laughs> tobacco smoke. Mm. And um, uh, so, yeah, so we actually spent a lot of time in the pool area. It is a good area, um, but uh, it's the only pool area. Uh, so, yeah. Oh, the other thing to add about pools is right at the front of the ship, there is a, another secret whirlpool. And this is also the best place we found for sail waves. Um, uh, but it's very windy. So you just got to be aware that uh, it's a very, very windy, unprotected area. Mm. Uh, so, but it is a good, good place to go if the other tubs are full because mm. it, you'll probably find it empty because people don't discover it until right towards the end of the, the cruise. They will now, you're telling them. Yeah. So, so uh, oh, and the other thing is watch out for the ice cream because it's a bit runny. Yeah, it's a bit runny and mm. I, I did wonder, you know, I'm not, I'm so not sure. I'm not exactly sure they've got the temperature control yeah. right mm. for the ice cream. So, uh, yeah, perhaps some of the health and safety boards ought to have a look at that. Anyway, there you go. So that is, is the 10 that? things oh. that surprised us about NCL Dawn. And I'm really sorry that yeah. it's not exactly a positive review of a ship, but we say it as it is, I'm afraid. Yeah. Um, and it's only on that cruise that we were on. Now, some things can't possibly alter, like the silly wardrobes, things like that. Yeah. But other things, maybe different when you're on the cruise yeah. or may have been different when you were on a cruise mm. on this ship. So, as I say, it is only our experience in that one cruise. Now, in a couple of months, we are going on the, the NCL, NCL uh, uh, Star, um, and um, which apparently is a sister ship of the Dawn. Um, and uh, if it is, it will be very interesting to see mm. how it operates differently, whether we have a different feeling at the end of it. You can almost guarantee there'll be a video about it. <laughs> uh, so from now, uh, it's a goodbye from me and it's a goodbye from him. So goodbye. Bye. <laughs>